Little House Laura Ingalls With your mousy braids and plaid smocks With your sister, Mary Who was prettier and towed the Puritan line While you couldn't help but involve yourself In the entanglements of your late 19th century agrarian community In ways that produced perfect moral outcomes Such as Nellie Olson in her Quaker best being pulled by her blonde ringlets into a pond because she was too self-aggrandizing when deferring to her family's sweet shop come hardware store mercantile lifestyle. Laura Ingalls, I turned the top shelf of my plywood wardrobe into your Midwestern attic bedroom and sneaked up matches to read my Bible by paraffin lamp made out of a used Nutella jar and tea light. I craved your wholesome life, so safe and contained. If only we could all skip around, swinging packed lunches in tin pails, wearing starched cotton dresses with white aprons, everything in my eight-year-old life would be okay. Laura Ingalls, I spent Sunday afternoons fantasizing your father, Charles, would step out of the screen into my living room, and pinch my cheek, and call me half-pint, his eyes meeting mine with all the twinkle of a man who can hitch a wagon and work a water mill by hand, who would always happen to be behind the next corner, the precise moment I needed a paternal figure to soak my shame into the metallic sweetness of his flannel shirt. Laura Ingalls, even now, I classify my personal timeline as life before Laura and life after Laura.